the fifth Sunday after Epiphany, Year C, from the book of Isaiah. Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a person of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. In the name of that same Lord, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our readings for this week, we hear Isaiah, Paul, and Peter each in turn pulling back from God on account of their uncleanness. We know, in hindsight, that God has great plans for them, making use even of their particular forms of uncleanness in the service of their ministries. But for each of them, at the moment of their calling, it is horrifying to think that in embracing God's call they might somehow besmirch God with their sin. Presumably, God does not want us, literally, to purify our mouths with hot coals. Rather, God invites us to take his mercy upon our lips. Who better, then, to urge repentance, preach peace between Jew and Gentile, or convince us to trust that the Lord will provide for us than one who has received just such mercy? Our psalmist describes the glory of the Lord in terms of the ability to care for the lowly, to perceive the haughty from afar, and to keep us safe though we walk in the midst of trouble. God makes good his purpose for us in all of these circumstances, not merely extracting us from the midst of our sinfulness, but making use even of that sinfulness as the ground in which the seed of God's purpose takes root. Amidst the ashes of Jerusalem's destruction remained the charred stump of the house of David into which Jesus was born. That birth, suffering, and death, that burial, and that rising are all elements of the good news which we have received, in which we also stand, and through which we're being saved. Together, those unfortunate events compose the good news that our God, who calls himself I am that I am, loves us enough to form us from the earth, and indeed form the earth in order to form us from and on it. This freely given love is the grace by which each of us can likewise say I am what I am, and offer what we are as a sacrifice to God. Let this grace towards us not be in vain. In the name of the God of all grace, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.